Good morning. Hi, I'm Kristen Namdahl, and welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 266, and we're here live in southwest Florida. This is the Gulf of Mexico behind me. It's a beautiful morning. Now that the clocks have changed again, it's a lot lighter than, whoop, what the heck am I doing here? I'm trying to do it one-handed with my hand still on my yarn. Maybe not my best idea. Here, let's try that. There, that's a little better. You can see the water behind me now. It's funny because the camera's different when I take a screenshot. It's different when I do the thumbnail for the video, and then it's different again when I go live. So I can't ever really seem to get it all in the same spot. Good morning, Sherry. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Karen. Thanks for joining me live. Hope you're having, hope you had a great weekend. I am working on baby hats. Hi, Judy. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Lily. Good morning, Edna. So my first collection for the Be So Baby yarn is all inspired by rainbows. Good morning, Rebecca and Grace and Joe. Thanks for joining live. And so I did a set of hats all in rainbow colors. And what's really cool about the um, color palette for Be So Baby yarn is that there are a number of colors that you can use for rainbow palette. So you could do the colors that are all pastels. You could stuff that do colors that are more mid-tones, or you could do more traditional rainbow colors. And so this one, I would say, is more of in the middle. So I've got some of the traditional colors like red and green, but then I've got some of the mid-tone colors like the splash blue, and I've even used some of the pastels, which is the peach. Um, a couple of the hats are done all in pastel colors that represent rainbow spectrum. And then some of the patterns are done in traditional rainbow colors. So it's going to be really interesting to show you that on any of the patterns, you could actually mix and match whichever style of rainbow you like better. God, I'm getting notifications on my phone. They're going nuts. <laughs> And it's too far away. I don't feel like dealing with it. So what happens is the screen gets uh, a notification comes up and I can't see the screen for a second, but whatever. It'll be okay. So this, uh, so I've done, how many hats have I made so far? Well, I'm doing uh, a couple of hats that are, I've done a couple of hats that are not rainbow inspired either. So there'll be two hats, two hats are done. One's girly, one's more masculine or more boyish. And then this is the fourth of the rainbow hats. And I've done a little bit more crochet than knit, but there, this is the second knit hat. So I think there's four crochet hat patterns and three, or four crochet hat patterns and two knit hat patterns. Yeah, it's notifications from my phone, not anything you're gonna see on your screen. I'm getting notifications from Facebook and Instagram and texts and uh, it's funny. Facebook likes to tell me, ooh, this post is doing so much better than your normal post. Would you like to advertise it? I get those every day and I'm thinking, why don't you at least make something sound special? You say everyone is doing better than most of them. How is that possible? <laughs> it is very pretty here this morning. So I've gone a little bit north today. I'm north of Benita and uh, in more of a private section. So I just drove up to a beach access. And uh, so it's just private homes behind me. Some of them are gigantic. Some of them are cottages. There's a couple of cottages, more cottage size over there. The rest of these are pretty gigantic. But it's still just nice to change it up. I'm going to try to change up my location a little more than I have been. I think, uh, you know, it's the world we live in. If you do things predictably, you give people an opportunity to mess with you. So um, for a while, I think I'm just going to not actually mention where I'm at and just kind of change it up every day. It'll take a little more driving and a little more time. But, you know, it's just the world we live in today. And you just got to make do with what you got. So that's that. <laughs> what is everybody else crafting on this morning? I showed you I'm working on a hat. I, uh, and this is also knit sideways, so it's actually going to be vertical stripes. And if I could go back and do it again, I would change a few things up, and I may end up doing that. may end up changing it a little bit before um, 
releasing the pattern. So it's a sideways hat with an eyelet row up here towards the top. And what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to be a hat that wraps around this way, like that, and, um, and then seamed up the back. And then I'm going to make an eye cord to weave in and out of here so that it'll cinch at the top and then there'll be a ruffle at the top above that. Sherry's worked on her fifth hope case this weekend. That's great. It will be super cute, yes. And then having that, so when this cinches, then this will kind of ruffle. And I did a slip stitch at the end of every row. So it's got this nice finish on it, but it also curls in. So as it curls in and ruffles, it may end up looking like a little rose, maybe or not. <laughs> if it doesn't, I may even put a pom-pom on there. Actually, what I thought I'd do is put little pom-poms on the edge of the eye cord that goes through there. So there'll be two little dangly pom-poms. That would be cute. Barbara's working on the Santa Bella shawl. Wonderful. Thanks, Lisa. I think it's going to be really cute to see all four babies wearing rainbow hats that are all in different sequences of colors and different stitch patterns and even different crafts. I'm really excited to see how that photo shoot evolves. Um, unfortunately, I won't have tops for them yet and I won't have blankets for them yet. So I'm trying to figure out how to uh, photograph them and really focus on their heads. So part of where the wheels are turning. Nancy's working on an Afghan. Hi, Ivy Mae. All right, so we will add another color. Oh, the other thing that I would do differently if I was remaking this is I would be changing colors on the side that's going to go on the top, not the side that's going to be here, because I feel like I may, um, it's not going to be as perfect of an edge as this side would be, so I may write the pattern in that opposite direction just so the smooth edge without color changes would be the um, the brim. So anyway, I just feel like I'm too far into it to actually unravel it, but I can certainly improve upon the pattern based on what I found. Uh, I think I might have a little bit of spotty connection here. I think there's a delay in when I'm seeing the comments. Grace started one of my patterns in Be So Baby last night. Oh, that's right. Grace has Be So Baby already. Can't wait to hear what you think of using it, Grace. I know you like it from the ball so far, and I'm so happy. Uh, Rebecca bought something. Couldn't see it. it yeah, Karen, but there's a longer delay than normal today, I think. Grace is loving the yarn so far. Wonderful, me too. Uh, I saw an, a memory on Facebook today tell me that it was 10 years ago today that my first book, Wrapped in Crochet, started shipping, and you're, you're not going to believe this. But uh, today's the day that my advanced copies of, uh, or my pre order copies of, um, 80 handmade gifts is going to arrive. Isn't that amazing? So the day that, uh, so all the pre-orders will start shipping today and it will become in stock today. But I thought it was so strange that that's actually happening on the 10th anniversary of my first book uh, being shipping. I think that's so amazing. What a, what a bizarre coincidence, huh? <clears throat> and that's 15 books in 10 years then too. I also like that statistic. I think that's awesome. But yeah, it showed up on my personal Facebook memories this morning. And I was like, no kidding. Wow, that is really cool. And it was set, it had privacy settings, so I couldn't share it to my professional page. If I can figure out how to do that um, later today, I will, because I think that would be pretty cool. Yes, Ivy May, I think that is a pretty amazing statistic. I agree. I was very excited to see that this morning. Oh, by the way, uh, somebody asked if I made a discount on the uh, sampler pack of Be So Baby yarn, and yes, I did. For a limited time, 
if you want to try all 15 colors. I have a sampler pack like I showed on the podcast Friday, I believe, where you can get a box of all 15 colors of Beso Baby Yarn, full-size balls, 15 of them. The normal retail price of buying all 15 would be, um, I think, $89, and it's on sale $10 off. So if you'd like to try all 15 colors, it's $10 off for a little, for a limited time. And uh, otherwise you can buy each ball individually. You can buy them, you don't have to buy a whole bag or anything, you can buy a single ball. And that's also for sale on my website. Sanchel ordered a box. I saw, yeah, several people asked me on Friday during the podcast if I was going to do a sampler box like I gave out to some people and like I had on Friday. And um, I had never occurred to me that somebody would want all colors. So, well, it did occur to me, but wasn't sure if anybody would like it. So with all of that response, I realized that it was a thing. So I quickly went home to my computer, to my office and, um, and set it up. Actually, I think I might've done it right from Panera on Friday. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> So thank you for your feedback. I just think it's so fabulous when uh, we can work together like that. Lisa says the colors are beautiful. Thank you. I had so much fun putting together the colors. Like I said on Friday, my goal was to make sure that there was options for doing a rainbow palette because I think rainbow is such a cheerful motif or theme for baby. I think it's a cheerful theme for us in general. I'm always drawn to rainbow bow palette and I wanted to have options so that you could do pastel or mid-tone or traditional so it's not perfect I think you would need probably 30 colors to do that but I think for a 15 color palette I'm really happy that there are some options for um, rainbow and uh, like Jane is saying right now it's not all pastel colors because I feel like there's so much trends nowadays to not do um, all pastel colors for babies. I think one of the trends that I really like is seeing gray and white with a bold color. So like, for example, Diva, the bright fuchsia hot pink with snowflake and platinum would be amazing for a little girl. Or you could go with uh, Buttercup, the yellow, and turquoise and platinum. Those three colors look gorgeous together. That would be the gray, yellow, and um, what did I say, gray, yellow, and turquoise? I meant gray, white, and turquoise. <laughs> so it's platinum, snowflake, and buttercup. Really hard to do that from my brain without having them in front of me. Anyway, I made it. <laughs> Sandshell has patterns her mom created back in the 60s and 70s she wants to make. That's cool. That sounds so fun. So after I finished the hat collection, I'll uh, put those in an ebook and they'll be available to purchase and probably be given with yarn purchase for a little while too. Probably figure out something fun to do with that. Um, this is looking so cute. Uh, someone mentioned my earrings. Yes, I'm wearing my earrings from 80 Handmade Gifts, the bling ones. I, it's going to be real hard to not wear them every day. <laughs> As you've noticed, since I made them, I've worn them every day. I, worn, I wore them all weekend too, and every time I left the house, someone stopped me to ask me about my earrings. I love that. Uh, Sancho, her mom, her money, and knitting. Uh, maybe your mom made money? Thank you, Jackie. I'm glad you look forward to the podcast. Thank you, Sherry. I love the earrings. I need to make them in way more colors. What am I knitting, Moose Gal wants to know. I am knitting one of the hats from my new hat collection for baby. So Viso Baby Yarn, which launched on Friday, is uh, I'm working on designs for them right now. And I'm working on an ebook of, this theme is going to be about rainbow palette. So there's going to be knit and crochet hats and projects that are all in rainbow theme. And what's cool is that the color palette has few options for rainbow and I can't wait to show you how cute they look on the baby. So um, my baby dolls arrived I think Thursday The and uh, I've got most of the hats made already and just trying to 
spin my wheels and figure out the best way to photograph these hats for the ebook. The patterns are written. I'll need to get them tech edited next. Do the photography, do the book layout. So I'll be doing everything that I do for a book book, but I don't think I'll have enough patterns from the get go to make a print book. So I will be making it a, um, an ebook to start. Ah, I missed a bunch of comments. Ah, sorry. If you feel like repeating it, please feel welcome. I'm more than happy to try to answer stuff live. Uh, Lisa wants to know if I'm out of a yarn color. I really wish I could answer that uh, during a live, but I have no, I don't have access to inventory while I'm talking at the beach. If you want to email me about that, um, I would be more than happy to answer you. If you think something's uh, out of stock on my website, but if you think something isn't, but it's showing out of stock, just email me and I'd be more than happy to help you with that. Uh, will the patterns be in Spanish? I don't have my patterns translated into Spanish at the moment, but if I find somebody who is willing to translate into, into Spanish, I would be happy to offer them in Spanish, no problem. How long does it take for the books to arrive? Rebecca wants to know. Uh, from who to where? Do you mean once I get them and how they ship? I don't know which end you're talking about. But books generally ship media mail, so it's more like first class mail, it's not prime. Could you make the earrings with a jump ring instead of the hoop? Um, Sure, I don't see why not. Yeah, you could. Just if you wanted to make that. I mean, you could make them on any size ring. Also, you would just need to make sure that your gauge fit well. Um, when we pre-order your book, uh, well, I'll be shipping as soon as the books arrive, and they sh I'll be shipping the media mail. So uh, around the same time as uh, first class mail. I think I'm getting the questions now. I think Curious George is here with us today. Can you guys see him? Yes, yeah, so as soon as the books arrive today, depending on what time they arrive, um, my tracking says it'll be before eight. If it's before noon, I should get a whole bunch of them shut, set out today because uh, my post office closes at 4 p.m. So, uh, yes, you would have to stiffen the earrings if you're not going to stretch them onto a hook. That is a great question. Yes. Yes, if you're going to make these and not put them on a hook, you would want to pin them out and stiffen them. Absolutely. And you could totally do that, especially with that stiffening stuff that we're using for the bowl. And I'll talk more about that when we do um, the tutorial on uh, stiffening the bowl. So what was I saying? Oh, I'm all ready for uh, shipping. So as soon as the books arrive, I have my station set up and I'm totally ready to get out as many as I possibly can in a day. Uh, not sure how many will go out today, but as I print the shipping labels, you'll get an email that, with a tracking number. And when you get that, you'll know that uh, your book is going out. So I should have everything uh, shipped out. I'm gonna say three days. Max? Uh, yes, Rebecca, I do all the shipping myself. I do. I do. Uh, I did have somebody make a mistake when ordering their book this week, so I want to just point it out. Um, the new book is called 80 Handmade Gifts. Somebody ordered uh, Motif Magic, and when she got it, she said, um, it's not the book that she wanted to order. She wanted to order 80 Handmade Gifts and could I return it? And unfortunately, because I personalize and autograph books when they're sold directly from me, uh, it w I cannot return those books. So please pay attention uh, closely when you're ordering books to make sure that you order the right one. I know it seems obvious, but uh, sometimes it's easy to make mistakes. So just wanted to point that out, that if you want the new book, the new book is 80 Handmade Gifts not Motif Magic, but if you don't have Motif Magic and you want Motif Magic, please feel welcome to order that as well. It is also in stock and I personalize and autograph 
all of my books when you order them directly from me. How different is the uh, scenery this morning with uh, the time change? We're now an hour later, so the sun's completely up. Thank you, Lisa. I'm so glad you love Motif Magic. I love it too. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm so glad you like my books autographed and personalized. I think it's special too. I like being able to share my gratitude with my customers. It makes me feel good too. All right, so I wanted to show you Curious George. I think that's Curious George right there. Sure looks like him. And then look at how high the sun is already. That's how different the time change makes our mornings and our sunrises. If anybody follows me on Instagram, I'm spending more time doing my stories lately. So it's been, I've had fun showing you some of the natural things that I find, like I was at Marlon's tennis training uh, location the other day, and I saw live turtles. And when I do different beaches in the morning, I like doing a video of the walk to the beach. So if you want to see what my walk looks like from the car to the water, which is usually pretty cool and really different at the different beaches. So if you're interested in that, you can uh, follow me on Instagram and then watch my stories, which is the behind the scenes, little snippets, videos, and photos. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys, but I found a different brace for my elbow. Remember one week I had the wrong brace on and a lot of very concerned and lovely ladies told me that I had the wrong one on and to go get a different one. Well, I bought this one and it does this and that. And I haven't been wearing it probably as consistently as I should, but I do feel significantly less pain when I've had it on. So thank you for that. Oh, it's so bright, I can, can hardly see the camera this morning. That helps. I should probably sit in the shade. I should probably move. Isn't that funny? Normally I look for the sun. Today I want the shade because it's so bright. We haven't had super bright days in a while. Ah, uh, okay. Decide, oh, decided to go to the park. Each, oh, Moose Gal says that um, since watching my podcast, she's been inspired to spend more time in nature. I'm so happy to hear that. I hear that so often. Um, I hear it so often that people spend more time knitting and crocheting in public or spending more time in nature with or without their crafts because of watching this podcast. And that makes me so happy. So happy. I'm so glad to see, hear that. I find so much peace and comfort in nature, and I'm glad that I have um, reminded other people to do the same. Thea, I missed your comment completely. If you want to repeat it, please feel welcome. I know it was long, and I'm sure it's a pain in the butt to repeat long comments, too. But here's the other thing. Don't forget that if, you, if your comment doesn't get seen in the live, please feel welcome to write it in the recorded version, because you know I can see those throughout the day and that I reply to all of them. Oh, Moose Gal has vitamin D deficiency. Yeah, so being out in the sun is good for you. I really try to only be out in the sun early morning and late in the evening so that you're not getting all the harsh rays and stuff, but I do love, love uh, the early morning uh, mild sun. Uh, Thea, there's something in the law that they're going to stop doing time change in Florida, but it has not started yet. Oh, you guys got to see all these birds. Look at all the birds today. We've got little guys and big guys hanging out with me today. Super cute. <laughs> I keep, do you notice I keep turning around? I keep thinking I hear a dolphin splashing. I guess it's wishful thinking. All right, better get back in my yard. Let's see. Why would they do that? Why would they change? I have no idea. I have no idea. There are uh, there are pros and cons to both sides of it, and uh, they're going to do what they're going to do. I don't care.
I just go with the flow. Ah, <laughs> uh, KB wishes we didn't have to change time. Uh, it doesn't, you know what, it's not something that really bothers me and it doesn't bother me one way or the other. Whatever's better for the environment and better for, um, you know, resources, I think is fine. Yeah, Moose Gal, you know, there's only so much that we can do individually. Voting is one of the ways that we can uh, help support whatever we want to see changed or remain the same. And voting is our right and our privilege. And I think that's where it's important. And anything else, uh, my philosophy is to just go with the flow. Because there's no, other than voting, there's absolutely nothing I can do about anything anyway. <laughs> So the more you can learn how to go with the flow, the better off you are, right? <laughs> you were mentioned in law. Uh... Oh, I don't understand. Someone said the lady on the beach. Oh, somebody walking by said that? Yeah, I've gotten, there are people that come to expect me in the morning and like, if I go, if I stop going to a beach for a while and then come back, they're like, where have you been? And I'm like, well, you got to watch it online because I change beaches. I don't go to the same beach every day. Everyone's saying hi to Janet. So maybe I miss Janet. Hi, Janet. Thanks for joining live. For those of you just joining, I am knitting a super cute rainbow baby hat today. Uh, the last hat in my first collection for Be So Baby yarn. So I'll have patterns available very soon. The yarn is now shipping. And for those of you that missed earlier, we're also going to start shipping 80 handmade gifts today. The books are due to arrive sometime today and I am fully prepared to ship out as many as I physically can. There's more birds. Yeah, there's birds behind me too. Oh, the water's clear today. The colors are gorgeous. So pretty today. So lots of exciting things going to be happening in the office today. Lots of hustle and bustle, trying to get as many books shipped as possible. As soon as they come in, I know everyone's been so patient with me, waiting for their books to arrive. Um, so awesome. So grateful for all of the pre-orders. And I will promise they will go out as soon as possible. Yeah, the water is beautiful today. So pretty. Oh, you know what? I could show you how clear it is, too. Let me grab the camera. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I wanted to show you my how I tied my cardigan today, too. So I have a, a simple black maxi dress. And instead of tying the cardigan up like I normally do, sometimes I wear it down. And sometimes I tie it like this. But today, I because it's just loose and stretchy t-shirt material, I was able to grab two little spots like this. And tie it like that. Another awesome way to wear this color. And I can't see a dang thing because I walked away from the camera. So I'm going to turn the camera around now. You keep talking because I can still see your comments. And I want to show you how crystal clear the water is this morning. Hey birdies! Into the water. You can see the seashells and everything. I'm trying not to get wet. Oh, there's little tiny fish in there too. I'm going to try to walk back and forth with the tide so I don't get wet. Let's see how that works. Yeah, the colors are beautiful. You see some look at the color from the horizon line we've got a dark deep blue almost like a london blue topaz blue and then it goes lighter and then it goes to a lighter blue and then it goes into a deeper green and then lighter lighter and light green and then with the white and the sand so gorgeous what a palette huh what a palette
do I ever go shelling? Uh, yeah, I have gone shelling before. I have a friend that likes to go shelling. And once in a while when she's visiting, I go shelling with her. Um, I just don't, I only like to go shelling when I have a project in mind and when I've made projects over the years and I feel like I have a purpose for it. Otherwise, I don't know where to keep them. Let's see if I can turn that around again. There we go. So when I have a purpose for them, I definitely like to go shelling. My problem is I don't want to store seashells if I'm not, um, if I'm not using them for a craft. You're welcome, Sherry. I'm so glad to share the beach with you. Oh, we're almost out of time. So does anybody have any last minute questions? I'm gonna finish this row and see if there's any last minute questions. Janet's going to be in Florida for Thanksgiving. Wonderful. Uh, Moose Gal would like to know more about the seashells. I mean, you want help in figuring out how to make crafts with them or you need to know what kind of shells they are. 10th anniversary modern gift is diamond jewelry. Oh, are you suggesting that uh, since this is the 10th anniversary of my first book shipping, I should get diamonds today? I wish. <laughs> Maybe you're talking in a side conversation. I don't know. But it is that for those of you that missed the beginning of the podcast, today's the first day that my 15th book will start shipping. And it's also the 10th anniversary of my first book shipping, Wrapped in Crochet. And I just find that to be such an incredible coincidence I uh, don't even know how to um, process it yet. All right, I'm going to finish knitting this row and wait for any more comments to come in. And then we'll close the show. Just a quick little purling. Love these colors together. Thank you, Thea. I'm pretty excited about it. I didn't tell Marlon. I'll tell him tonight. Yeah, coincidence isn't the right word, Rav. I agree, but uh, just I'm wondering what the what the hidden meaning is in that. I just I think it's so cool. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't see any other questions, so let's take this last minute to look out at this magnificent view, soak in this incredible sun uh, color palette, and the sounds of the beautiful waves, and set our intentions for the day. Man, so pretty. Okay, one more reminder. If you feel like your uh, questions got uh, missed, please feel welcome to leave your comments in the recorded version of the video. Uh, podcast because that's the, where I have the most ability to reply and answer and get you the help that you need. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed the sunrise, the sound of the waves, the beautiful scenery. Our new, our birds were back chatting with me and everyone else here. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.